television print or now like I'm suggesting even for outdoor. However, it's, it's still, even after that matrix, it will still stand true that you will never know that what part of your investment really paid you dividend or what part of your investment gave you the maximum visibility. Because one thing that will be true about marketing and it's been true forever is that 80% of my spends go waste, but I just do not know which are those 80%. So that uh, rule honestly applies even today and it applies across all marketing platforms. In fact, interestingly, when digital was pitched as the next big uh, you know, um, um, uh, platform for marketing to invest in. It was pitched basis the fact that digital is going to throw back a lot more data and you will know exactly where your consumer is clicking, what your consumer is liking, etc. But now that digital has become a key component of marketing plans and, and so on, even that extensive data crunching is still not able to tell me even within the digital platform which 80% is going right and which 80% is probably a waste. Except in very tactical lead generation campaigns, you don't exactly know even in digital what's working and what's not. So I think fundamentally, uh, for any marketing plan, uh, you will never know what really clicked or what really gave you visibility, apart from uh, you know, some qualitative feedback and apart from some top line research that you might be able to drive. But the ability to be able to use tools at the time of planning, at least you will then make sure that your investment has happened Basis, uh, you know, uh, of, of you know, basis an algorithm, uh, basis some uh, historical data that might have been pre-plugged into the tool, and therefore your investment is that much more solid and that much more foolproof. And because mediums compete with each other when it comes to any investment plan, anything that is more data-driven from a decision standpoint also you could feel more confident in investing more there. So, to sir, to answer your question, I think the matrix is required for better planning. But I do agree that content is king today. There's no doubt about it. And what is interesting is that content by every medium has evolved. So while television still continues to embrace the same 60 or 30 second ad formats, digital has really evolved today and uh, companies are investing in creating video content, creating uh, infographics and creating a host of other things which consumers are able to you know, enjoy and consume without really even thinking that this is advertising content. Uh, it's actually the content that they want, for example, with these videos or beauty tips, and then somewhere there, the subtle brand integration is happening. So every medium is, is evolving from the unique content that they're able to offer. And uh, while outdoor is, yes, location specific, but a lot of the work that we saw was also about the kind of content, uh, you know, uh, the outdoor medium was trying to take back to consumers. Uh, am I allowed to take a couple of examples from, uh, uh, or no? Okay, <laughs> I'll try. So for example, we did see some work where, um, you know, some algorithm was used and uh, somebody standing at a railway station could potentially, uh, and trying to buy a first class ticket in the local of a Mumbai train from going to go from X to Y station. <laughs> Maybe I'm just taking an example, you know. Uh, but you actually uh, was exposed to a communication which asked that person to maybe try another mode of transport, like a taxi or something. Uh, so that was really powerful content, very relevant content given to the right consumer. So there is scope to do a lot more of that across brands and across agencies. So I think it's, a, it's going to be a good mix of having a good matrix in place, but also having uh, content that can be developed and uh, content that can be king. So I hope I've answered your question satisfactorily, sir. Okay. okay. Uh, Ashish, your, your take one. Sir, Kanika, thank you so much. Uh, we just got to know one of the winners. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, you, can, uh, you correctly mentioned that uh, matrix, of course, are required for any marketer to uh, you know, even think of planning. And of course, uh, executive. So, OH, yes, like you said, uh, we have to go hyper local. Like Alok also mentioned that uh, we need to get in uh, with more uh, more emphasis in getting a better uh, and a better suited uh, placements of outdoor mediums. But yes, you all of all of we uh, uh, we here think that yes, the next wave for outdoor has to be the integration with digital. We all feel that the the second scheme needs to be integrated well with it. But um, of 
late. A lot of brands have done that. And um, I think uh, the onus then comes to our own one you, because you know the guys who actually uh, own uh, much of the media there. And I think if you guys start thinking that way, that it's really important to grow this industry where it needs to be, I think you guys need to first take that hard decision there. And uh, of course, uh, like Radish you said, Ki, that you want to be a agency which, which thinks of taking uh, campaign level, not just implementation, then those ideas need to come from you guys to every brand. And um, can I just correct me if I'm wrong? Uh, no marketer or no brand uh, will never say no to it. If, if that if integration is possible in Mountor and it will never be a opium, it will be something like uh, it's required for that. Absolutely, and I, I completely agree with you there. And I'll just substantiate it uh, with another example, and this time I'll not give the winner away. Uh, so, for example, at, at, at Reebok, we're about to launch one of our, um, you know, running shoes, which is, uh, you know, our best running shoe till date. Uh, and we have actually been looking at ideas where we can uh, properly partner via outdoor again, uh, partner with the with a tech company, uh, and and really s at the back end calculate how much is a particular city really running, because a lot of the apps today they are able to uh, they're, of course they tabulate the number of steps you have taken, they even tabulate how much you have run. So we're actually trying to see whether we can have, you know, Delhi ran 1,000 kilometers today or Delhi ran 10,000 kilometers today and actually have that on a billboard and that number is changing every day to reflect how much that city has run. And we're trying to um, work on this idea from a uh, from billboard campaign or an outdoor campaign standpoint. So of course, if, some, if somebody can offer that bit, bit of bit, that bit of digital integration to us, we would certainly support it and not say no to it. So we are in fact hunting for see these ideas, um, and the time is right to really latch on to them. Okay, uh, just to wrap up this uh, discussion, um, I will invite one question from the floor. Just one question, because I guess the honourable minister is here, and. Uh, Uh, my question is to Kanika. I think Kanika spoke very well. Uh, with the dwindling revenue of uh, print and television uh, not getting proper eyeballs now, a lot of time the time spent has come down. There's a massive revenue swing which will happen in the time to come. So where do you think it will go apart from people are saying it will come to digital and out of home, which is a massive impact to advertising. What's your take on that? Oh, good question, I must say. Uh, well, I think that, uh, I think definitely it is dwindling in print. Um, in TV, maybe not so much. Uh, and whatever is dwindling from TV will definitely go to digital. And the reason I say that is because one video content format can, replace and can be replaced by another video content format.